So, you just mentioned something before we started filming this. You said that we're running out of space. So, what's this video that you're currently watching? We're going to go through uh, the previews for October and uh, talking about the IDW original sampler. Yes. The majority of this list <laughs> is all independent comics. And she's looking behind us, see those short boxes over there, drawer boxes, and those are all independent comics. And she's like, we're running out of space. <laughs> yes. But, uh, I'm Kyle. She's, I'm Nora. Uh, we're Noggin Comics, and today, whenever you watch this, you're gonna, we're going to be talking about books coming out in October of 2022. And Spooky two, season. And two... That have already come out or will be coming out soon. Uh, but first, I uh, want to remind you that we have a giveaway happening. Uh, so tune in to the last video. Uh, Noggin Comics is not dead. Uh, we have a 150 subscriber giveaway. All you have to do is answer the question in that video, which means you have to watch the video and you have to be a subscriber. But on to this video. Let's uh, okay, I'll grab that. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about the IDW sampler for 2022. Uh, this starts off as a story or comic book that's already been released in Dark Spaces Wildfire. Mm -hmm. Um, we haven't talked about this yet because this this came out while we had COVID, right? Um, a few weeks ago, yeah. Yeah. It was a great story, and it's already been optioned. Uh, so, we just kind of skipped past it. We didn't read it because we read the original uh, comic that came out. Mm -hmm. But, you want to talk about this one? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out if it's a U or a V. It's, I think it's a V. How do you say it? Trev Kent? <laughs> I don't know. So, okay, it's called... There. Tr Trev... T R E. U V K V L T. We're gonna go with that. Um, by Scott Brian Wilson and Leanna Congos. Sure. Um. Yeah, it's about this guy who is putting on this fake pr mask and robbing this strip mall, and one of those th places he robs is a comic store, <laughs> which is kind of funny. He's like, they still make. I didn't know they still made comics. How does that make you feel kind of comic shop? <laughs> People have said that before. No. Um, but yeah, it's kind of intriguing. Um, I This is, so this interesting. Preview, yeah, this sampler had, what, five com five issues in it? Or five yeah. uh, teases? Um, it should have been a shorter tease. If I had to rank the five, I think this would be number four. Oh, okay. Uh... Dark Spaces would probably be number one because that's such a good start. But the the dialogue is what I think I liked about this, though. I mean, yeah, it says four out of five, but the dialogue kind of almost has a, um, a Tarantino-esque, I would say. Maybe not Tarantino, but just a very uh, offbeat dialogue to it. Yeah, no, that's and, intriguing. Like, we'll check it out when it comes out to see where the story, the story goes. At least it's she won. Um... But yeah, it, Kevin Smith, that's what I can say. It has like a Kevin Smith vibe to it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but the third story in it was probably my least favorite. See, and I was kind of intrigued by that. <clears throat> um, Crashing. This one by Matthew Klein, Morgan Beam. Um, this was basically about this woman who's a nurse who's trying to get through her shift. And then all of a sudden, this guy is like a super man-powered person that she's saving. And she's like, oh, crap. I need more coffee. So, I mean, that kind of has me intrigued. Um, but yeah. it's like she's trying to help people because she's gone through something. You've already kind of picked up on that, too. Because she's like, looks like she's kind of been saved. So she's trying to save others. So the one thing about this sampler is I read it. When I had COVID, so about two weeks ago, and you just read it about mm. an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, and uh, 
I remembered all the other stories about this one. I think that is why I said this was my least favorite one. It just didn't remind me. Like, just didn't have that... Um, this one grabbed remember. me more than yeah. the last one, though. But, uh, but staying power. It didn't have that staying power to it. Yeah. Uh, this comes out in... This one comes out in September. Mm-hmm. Um, this one grabbed me more it, it than... It has potential, I think. This one grabbed me more than the Trev Kilt. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, but the next one in this, uh, yeah. Earth Divers... Is by Stephen Graham Jones, uh, an indigenous writer. Uh, this is the one I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to the most because it's about a time traveler that goes back to kill Christopher Columbus. Yeah, this looks good. That's all you have to say. That is basically, I was hooked up some seven pages and I'm like... Um, yeah, and the art's good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, can't wait for, I think it's October? Yeah. Yeah, it comes out in October. Can't wait for that one. Uh, and then... Um, the last one? This one? The last one? Uh, Dead Seas was only two pages uh, preview. Mm. Um, Kevin Scott, though, rolled it. Mm-hmm. And, or was writing it, I should say. And Nick Brockenshire? Is on the arcs. And the this, I mean, we don't want to show this page, but the, the, the second page of the story kind of gets you, a preview gets to you. But at the same time, it didn't show enough for me to actually want to read it quite yet. You know what I mean? I mean, it's about this, like, haunted ghost yeah. that's scaring this girl. That's no, all you that get. you hooked. Yeah, so I'm going to read it. Kevin Scott's a good author. He does a lot of Star Wars stuff, and he's doing... The Ward. The Ward right now with... One of my favorite books right now. Uh, Dark Horse. Dark Horse, yeah. All right, so... No... So, wait, let's, uh... Oh. So we're talking about the sampler, and I just mentioned that The Ward is one of my favorite books. We want to take a break from the previews and talk about Wild Fair Books from this week. If we do weekly videos, we want to at least talk about one book that we read from the week. And this week was a book that I had no clue even existed until you mentioned yeah. it. Once again, this happened. Uh, last time this happened was um, Survivor Street last week. Oh, yeah. You talked about it. I didn't even know about it. But yeah. this is called Samurai Doggy. Mm-hmm. And it's not for kids. <laughs> yeah. Um, just imagine if Samurai Jack was a dog, basically. Yeah. Samurai Doggy. The artwork is really cool and mm-hmm. different. Santos? Yeah. Yeah, I love this. I am, I want the next issue. I mean, this is something I'll probably pick up in trade, too, because I think it would present great in trade. Well, on this doggy... Yeah. Basically, I can't remember his name right now. Um, what's his name? his name? Oh, no. Yeah, like most samurais, you don't know their name. Okay, well, this bird that he named is Ray with an yeah. R-E-I. Anyway, I mean, this dog has gone through some trauma. He meets this robotic bird. And let's say he's going after to get some revenge. So if it's like, take so. your uh, samurai, samurai jack, like you mentioned. Yeah. But you infuse futuristic elements to it yeah no that's cool it's cool so kind of reminded me of the artwork style reminded me of just another aftershock book that i liked the oh man what was it just finished too Um... aftershock go to your local comic shop and find samurai doggy by aftershock uh i was surprised by it um i'm glad i grabbed it because the title didn't pull me in i'll be honest you mean you're glad i grabbed it you grabbed it yeah <laughs> so. yes all right back to the previews um so we're gonna jump right into the independence from this giant phone book <laughs> of previews with the, the first best type of phone book yeah uh image we can start off with image comics and the very first book for october that we're looking forward to is junkyard joe uh, it's by Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, and Brad Anderson, and it's spinning out of Geiger. Mm-hmm. Uh, we love Geiger. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the little previews or advertisement for it, they're saying that it is Sergeant Rock meets Geiger. Meets, well, yeah. That's what that's what it said. Mm-hmm. And um, I'll admit that I'm not much of a Sergeant Rock fan. I haven't read much of his stuff. Gasp. I'm just kidding. But... Geiger was such a good read, and mm-hmm. I love Gary Frank's art, so this was one of the first books I had to add to the list. And it's a miniseries, right? Yes, it's a miniseries. Okay. What's uh, this next one? Yeah, I'll continue this next one. Yeah. Um, 
uh, for the second book for Image uh, is called Dark Ride. It's by Joshua Williamson, uh, Andrei, Brazen, and yeah, yeah, Brazen. Uh, and no, it's a uh, terrifying oh. theme park. Uh, with all I had to take to pull me into the title, uh, we've been total sucker- suckers for the uh, horror titles coming out recently. Pun intended. Yeah, and <laughs> um, there was uh, in previews it mentioned something for fans of Rain and uh, Ice Cream Man. Mm. And I love Rain. I'm still we're, we're trying to work our way through Ice Cream Man. Mm-hmm. Only, I've only been buying one of it, mm-hmm. but I loved what I read. I loved Ha Ha. So I'm like, I gotta get jump onto this. Yeah. This was something that you picked. It's something you put um, a tab on. Hang on, I have to jog my memories. Oh. Uh, it's David Mazine. Which one? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's called Three Keys by David Messina and then Werther Deladera, who does the artwork for something that's no, the children. No, he's not. He's, he's going to do a cover. Oh, never mind. He did no, a cover. That's it, yeah. I lied. Okay. Oh, he's writing it and drawing it. David Messina, who did the Han Solo artwork. So this is basically a... Miniseries. Uh, a miniseries. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of... Um, I don't know. It just intrigued me. The artwork looks really good, and it's for fans of Buffy, which I know I haven't gotten into. And it's perfectly made for you. That's the type of show that you would just... Eat up and yeah, start binging. I know. Yeah, but the artwork looks good, and so. I'm intrigued. Um, oh, yeah. And then the next one is an artist that I really love. Um, oops. It's called Kaya by Wes Craig. Kaya's been in the pre- the, the, the prequel, too. It's been in the image books. But I'm excited to see where the story goes. Basically, it says a fur- Furiosa-like main character set in Adventure Time fantasy. So, yeah, it looks really good. I'm excited to read Yeah, that. when I was reading so Yeah, Sweet Keys didn't catch my attention, but Kaya did. Because it is, like, it kind of has the premise, like, it reminds me of Eve. Mm-hmm. Which, spoilers, we're going to be talking <laughs> about Eve soon here. Um, but the this kid that goes on the adventure with, uh, well, it's not a robot. Maybe it's a kid? I Looks like some type of mutant, but <laughs> have you been even reading the prequel? But uh, no, I haven't. Oh. Like I wanted to go into this blind. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a um. It's her brother. Well, her brother looks strange, but um, <laughs> the story is about these kids, these kids siblings, uh, and I even mean, wrote siblings on that note, so I guess I'm not paying attention. Yeah. Fighting monsters and mutants, and that's all I had to see to get me interested in it. Yeah. No, it's it's really good. Um, All right. So Moving that's what on. we have for uh, image. There was more, but you know, you can only talk about so many books. Yes. Um, the next one is from the next publisher we're gonna be talking about mm. is uh, Boom Studios, uh, and this book that we're interested in is called The Approach. Um, it's by Jeremy Han, who uh, written by Jeremy Han, who I just absolutely love his stuff recently, and. It is a travel terror, terror tale, which is extremely hard to say. But the thing that caught my attention for this book was the image cover to Airplane. When you got this mixed up earlier, you said Hills, yeah, the Hills so Rain, and Ice up. Cream Man. So oh, this, this is, is the book. homage cover that he's talking about. What? Well, right. Clearly, I'm struggling here, people. So that, this was the book that was the yep. Rain and Ice Cream Man. So many books. So... Um, you but yeah, once again, it's another horror title. Most I can pick up. Uh, and then going back to yeah. about, well, now about two minutes ago, uh, Eve, Children of the Moon, the uh, sequel. Yeah, you really liked Eve. Mm-hmm. If I remember correctly. Yeah, so. Victor Lavelle is the writer, and then the illustrator is Joe Million, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's. It looks awesome. I'm excited for it to come back. I mean, I love this little preview with her bear giving her the cake of, oops, of the world. Well, the nice thing is, too, like, they even make, uh, Mm -hmm. in the previews to it, they make a comment that's perfect for first-time readers, too. Yeah. 
So it might be that maybe it's a prequel to it. I don't know, but oh, yeah. I think you would have to know what's going on. Yeah, you do. Yeah, the long awaited return. Oh. oh, so it's going after. Huh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's one of those books, Eve's one of those books in general, too, where I it, you could spin off into many different things I, I can think, too. It says, perfect for fans of Little Monsters, and what's the furthest place from here? Both good titles right now. Eve's Children of the Moon continues to ask, what kind of world are we leaving for our children? Right. Good question. And then <laughs> uh, the next book, the last book from Doom, uh, from Doom, from Boom. <laughs> from Doom. <laughs> is uh, Dan Them All by Simon Spurrier and Charlie Adler. Um... We just started reading Walking Dead. I mean, look at that. We're like just time. reading because we're like 45 issues in. Yeah. <laughs> but I love Adler's work. Adler's work. And with him on the side of Spirit, we're working on a book about tracking down with the 72 demons. Like yeah. That. Demons. Uh, and the artwork looks fantastic. Um, and Sai Superior. Like his. Sanford, yeah. His writing style is, is fun. Yeah. Different, so but fun. This is one of those, like, if. If we had to go through all the books coming out, I think this would be like a top of my list because it has that darkness to it, but you can also sense it's going to have a lot of fun just tracking down these 72 demons. Yes. The uh, next book is from Dark Horse. Yes. And, um, Nora's going to have some time, fun time chasing this down. What? I'm trying to find it. It's oh, I found the it. Next tab right there, yeah. Um,. So yeah, this is uh, Scott Snyder's uh, original books that he was been doing for um, Comicsology. Oh, yeah. yeah. Originally started off with Comicsology and then went to Dark Horse. Um, so, you like the artist, so yeah, much. and Francesco Francavilla, Francavilla. Um, All the covers for this look awesome. Like yes, I so you know if you've been watching us, you know Nora works at a comic shop. And she usually gets my little list of the all the variants and books that I want, and I'll be like, I want and all. I don't buy them. No, she jumped us. <laughs> they're like, I want all these variants mm, because it's not feasible. What's a discount list? Okay, um, <laughs> but no, this is uh, the same as what we did. We have demons. We have it's demons, also three yeah. issues. Um, but yeah, it looks like it's basically. Um, well, to shot in nineteen thirty six. It almost has like. Uh, a Frankenstein and Dracula, almost like a direct, like a movie, a film director is trying to make this thing. So uh, he's trying to make a Frankenstein and Dracula type film. Yep. So yeah. So like, I'll be honest, I don't really read the uh, little synopsis and previews. <laughs> uh, you know, you say don't judge a book by its cover, but comics, you know, it's all art. So yeah. sequential art, what they call it. So sequential art. Um. And then, so this one, don't even have to find this one, because this one's way in the back. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, Scout? Scout. So first off, I think Scout needs more love in these previews, because mm-hmm. this book, yeah, we, I, I think what happened, no, it's the next one, the next tab. Oh. Um, what happens is, like, people kind of forget that Scout exists, and Scout has been putting out great titles. And this title caught my attention. It's called Coachella. Uh... Basically, Basically, people being killed at like a Coachella type festival. Well, no, the, oh. it takes place in Coachella. Yeah, but they can't say it's Coachella. They do right there. Okay. Yeah, and it's basically what if Coachella had massive human sacrifice rituals? Maybe they do, and we just don't know about it. I had to say I'm picking this up. Cause I'm curious. <laughs> so. All right, but that was everything for the indie side, right? Yeah, that's it for the indies. You know, twenty minutes Oof, into duh. the uh, indies. Um, yeah. You can put that over there if you want. We have no space. <laughs> oh, you're buying out of space. All right, now on to the DCs. So, this was fun because trying to get through a DC previews and not <laughs> put and using Batman on the list, especially on this preview, it's all Batman. It is all Batman, and you know, we yep. we tr- we Ba-ba. we trimmed it down to four picks for this. Oh, yeah. That was hard. It was hard because I think nine of it was Batman. Yes. Uh, so the very first book, and it's on the cover of yeah. this DC Connect, mm-hmm. is the Riddler, Riddler Year One. Yes. Written and, by the one and only Paul Dano. And it's really good artwork by Steven Subic. Um, 
But Stefan Subic. I don't know. I'm I think it's Stevie that's the wrong. Mm. But um, it's the you know, Paul Dano played the Riddler in the Batman. What? Yeah, it's a shocker. <laughs> um, and you know, since we his portrayal is probably the definitive Riddler, I'll say. Yeah. Especially with Jim Carrey's glasses. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, I love Jim Carrey Riddler. But this. Keep, but he had his glasses. He he creeped the hell out of me in yeah. Batman. So I think that That's is why point. I'm looking forward to this to see if Paul Dana can capture the acting that he did. If he can put it into a comic script and capture it correctly. Yeah, I think. I mean, it already looks like him in these previews. Yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. All I right. mean, it's nothing about the variant covers too that you just want to. Yeah, and then we have one of the one bad day issues which is the Penguin, but we're going to buy all of them because we're suckers for Batman. the Rogue Gallery. Um, if those yes. bat in the Tyler buy it. Because this one is John Ridley, Giuseppe Kevin Coley, and like the artwork preview, like it just looks so good. And my coworker Neil was pointing out that all of these like X's and stuff you don't see written in because all of this here, that just means color in black. And the X's in this jacket, which is pretty cool. So... It's just cool showing the early stages of the art. But yeah. And I think Penguin's a character we should get more of and just in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I've heard some of, his solo, I mean, some of the solo stuff, but... He's been killed off now in continuity, maybe. Uh, shocker. Yeah. <laughs> that's um, not... Yes, spoiler. No, that's not a spoiler. They have time to read. Uh, <laughs> we skipped past this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Then Dick's Joker story. Yeah. Right. So this is one that I think is a long time coming. I love Punchline. I love yeah. her character. I'm excited. This is a... And Teeny Howard's writing it, so I'm even more excited. And then I just realized that her... She's actually married to the... Maybe to Blake her, Howard. Her brother. You like, know. No, I, I looked it up. They're oh. married. So that's cool. They're co-writing it. And then you have Glub Melnikov doing the art. Melnikov has done something else that was really good, too. I think it was Robin. Oh, yeah. He's doing Robin, and the artwork's really good. So... Oh. So. But I think Punchline just needs a miniseries. She's got she got that one shot. She's got some backup stories. Yeah, you skipped over Harley Quinn. I did because mm-hmm. I, I wanted to stop talking about Batman. Really. Mm-hmm. So all right, um, I see how it is. To get away from the Bat universe, I say that now, but despite this book probably had Batman in it somewhere. There's so many Batmans. Yeah, you, look at that. You're skipping through this book and like keep still going. Still going. Yeah, I mean now he's in Superman stuff, but yeah. yeah. So the next book Static. is Static Shadow of the Cola. Which Static has been so good in this. Well, Nicholas, Nicholas Drapper. Especially this cover. Right there. Uh, Nicholas Drapper, <laughs> Ivy, and Vita Alala. Vita Ayala? Ayala. They're writing it together, and Nicholas is doing the artwork. And mm-hmm. uh, Nicholas' art has been the best thing about Static, in my opinion. So the fact that they're continuing it, and he's staying on. Middle of mini series. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'm just I'm hooked on I'm hooked on static. Um, well, it's not oh, it's not not closed right now, but usually behind us is a static poster. Yeah. So that's besides all the Batman titles. I mean, DC well, should just change your name to Batman Comics and others. Yeah, I mean but, to be fair though, Marvels is twice as thick. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and like I, I we have five titles for that. Yes. For Marvel. Marvel. Um, with Spider Man, obviously. We we did skip a few. Uh, like for example, like Miracle Man's coming out, but we don't know much mm. about Miracle Man. Yeah. So we just didn't wanna sound stupid. But this cover of Peach is really yeah. pretty. And like Spider Man number one, um, how many times can there be a number one Spider Man? True. So the first book we're gonna talk about is a one shot. Uh Oh, it is? Yep. Oh, so you, you know more than me. So, oh, you didn't even talk about Strange again. Okay. So, Crypt of um, Shadows. Crypt of Shadow is by a slew of artists and writers. And the reason why I'm excited for this, well, for one, it's, you know, Halloween. So, you know, the, the horror books are going to be good. Oh, yeah. It's just their Halloween special. But uh, Moon Knight, Blaze Dollar, Bloodstone, and I believe X-23 are the characters yeah. in it. So, this is what got it has me excited. I want to see more of Blaze Dollar too so yeah i haven't been reading that but okay yeah. i'm just gonna go with you you skipped over strange academy coming back which i still have to read well that's because i want to talk about this one okay um if you want to take this one over because oh 
Yeah. Uh, okay. So we got Wakanda number one, and this is a mini series, five issues, um, by Stephanie Williams and Evan Narciss. And Evan Nar- Narcissus? Narciss. 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 Uh, he does a lot. He he's on the podcast a lot for Marvel. Oh, okay. Now. So yeah, this is basically having Black Panther not in the front. Unless you're not talking about Paco Medina's on the artwork too. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, this is putting hopefully Shuri and Killmonger. Uh, I think it's a spinning off of what's happening in, ba- in Black Panther right now. Yeah. Because Black Panther is no longer allowed in, in Wakanda. Wakanda, so it's focusing oh, yeah. on Shuri. Uh, Killmonger, uh, maybe it might start focusing on um, the new character came in. Tossing. Oh, to- yeah. So, yeah. I, I really hope this expands more on the characters of Wakanda, kind of like what the Wakanda did. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially with Wakanda Forever coming out, you know, intrigue's up there, so. Yeah, it basically is talking about Wakanda without the king. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I think this is going to be one of those mini series for Marvel that. You and I both And really there's like. a backup story called History of the Black Panthers. Mm-hmm. Uh, providing for the first time anywhere a definitive overview of, every, overview of every Wakandan who has ever held the mantle of Black Panther. So, that's cool. So, uh, that would be T'Challa, Shuri, mm-hmm. uh, T'Challa's dad. I'm just going to cry when we watch Wakanda for the no, movie. Wait. Well, and then sticking so, in then that Wakanda Forever train. Yes. Uh, Namor, I the Conqueror's Shorts. I'd be maybe even looking slightly forward to reading a Namor book. Yeah. And, but <laughs> so I think the reason why is that it's not Wakanda Forever, but it's Christopher Cantwell. Can't, yeah, Christopher Cantwell's writing. And that, uh, you need to, be, if, if you're not reading Iron Man, you need to go find it. it Cantwell's been killing it in Iron Man. Well, it says that. Namor is no longer the king of Atlantis, but he's the ruler of the entire world in this. Mm-hmm. So I guess we'll yeah, see. Yeah, I'm intrigued. I want to read more on Namor, so. Yeah. Oh, the the guy's back. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the next book is yeah. uh, Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's... Ooh, Forge. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, someone recently <laughs> discovered she likes X-Men. <laughs> um... I don't like it. I'm just getting into it more. But Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man <laughs> is by Taboo and Oral. And the only reason I wanted to read this is, you know, sometimes... You said, it's B. Earl. B. Earl. <laughs> right. So, uh, sometimes, I'll be honest, I get a little fatigued on Spider-Man. I don't feel that way with Batman, but I do feel that way with Spider-Man. But with this being a dark take from a Taboo from Black Eyed Peas... Mm-hmm. I'm interested. I'll give it a shot. See what the first issue's like. Yeah, it's a mini series. Yeah. Uh, but then the <sighs> final issue we've talked about. We've been here for half an hour now. Uh, if you've continued watching this, more power to it. I think you like torture. But um, <laughs> wow, well that's a cool predator. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, someone finally discovered predator. <laughs> Shut up. But yeah, you can talk. You can take it away with this one because I'm completely out of the game on this. You're just not reading all of it. Okay. So here's Star Wars The Higher Public, which they're rebooting with numbers again, I guess. But I guess it kind of makes sense because they're going now 150 years before Starlight Beacon fell. Spoiler. But, no, I'm just excited to see more characters, read more about this stuff, because it's just been really good from uh, from the start. And Kevin Scott's writing it, so... Yeah, there's a bunch of other series, too, that are starting, I think, maybe in September. But, yeah. Now... For those who stick around, um, let us know what you think about this, and let us know if you would want us to like talk about the books that we are currently reading that we're looking forward to in this too, because mm. we just focus on number ones, really. New series coming out, uh, continuations of a uh, series that you know went on a hiatus. Mm-hmm. But going through this one, especially going through Marvel, especially, we've come across a lot of the books that we're currently reading. That we're finding ourselves liking more than DC, which we thought that we would never say. <laughs> oh, and another good Marvel book I liked from this week was Ms. the Ms. Marvel and Wolverine team up. That was, was really good. good. But uh, anyway, shameless yeah, plug. Um, like I said, thanks for watching for a half an hour. Um, don't forget to go back to the last video. Uh, look for enter the, the giveaway. Enter the giveaway. Uh, it's a nine point. I'll tell you what it is. It's nine point eight of three jokers. Number one, 
Um, it runs through August 31st, or the end of the month. And then, if you are in the Minnesota area, if you're a fan of the channel, <laughs> if you find us at the Minnesota Comic Exchange Comic Show on September 17th in Woodbury, we were ending you in for a giveaway, but it's only for those that recognize us at the show and watch us. Sounds, sounds good to you? Right? Sure. <laughs> but uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you at the comic shop, and hopefully it's our comic shop. Yeah, and you look so short. Yeah, this chair. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.